I like your acting skills. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Hi guys, welcome to Maker, and I'm Dave for those of you that don't know me. And today we're in the workshop and we're in the fab side today, and this is Project Precious. So this car belongs to a good customer of ours, Jason, and he calls this Project Precious. As soon as he told me what he wanted to call this car, and he said his wife and himself call it Project Precious, I was a little bit worried. I was like, right lads, this needs to be wrapped in cotton wool for its whole life, so no scratches, no marks, no nothing and he asked me to cut the body in half and extend it. So we're gonna give this car a bit of a king cab twist because that's the rear body. And we've got to lose about yay amount. And it's about 450 mil, something like that. Um, so what we've got to do is, we mocked up in the yard, we had a rear body. This is just for mock-up purposes, so ignore that, the scruffiness. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna extend it by this much we're going to join this part of the body to this part of the body. And Jason's game, like, the goal was somewhere to keep his dog and somewhere to keep bits and bobs in the Defender. Because if you look at the back here, they didn't really think about it wisely because they put this angle on the back, which that is wasted space. So what we're going to try and do, we're going to try and square this off. So we're going to keep all the strength and everything. And we're going to square this off because that there, as that's it sounds, it's valuable space, places to put amps, places to put speakers, places to put supplies, if you like, and all important, beer fridge or something like that, whatever he wants to keep there. And Jason did have loads of gubbins in the back here. So we're gonna build him a nice little dog area to keep his, keep his little, um, I think he's got Jack Russell Terrier kind of thing. So keep that in the back there. And just to make it more livable, because when I try and get in a single cab, it's, it's comedy value. I'm like, steering wheels in between my knees. So there you go. So the guy that owns this wanted pops and bangs and rumbles and overruns. So that's what we gave him. We can't give it too much because the car's cold, obviously, but we're going to do some driving videos probably next week now. Yesterday I spent the whole day in the car tuning it with Paul at Wartec remotely. And this LS3 is nothing, well, it's not for the faint hearted. It goes like stink. And this is the game we play at night is Defender Jenga to get them all in here and took him away effectively.
like and subscribe. Doesn't look good in the light, that puppy, does it? Right, so new to our product range is these are our very own billet door handles. And if you look there, you can just see that M. Nice bit of understated branding there. That's what we're all about. And these are actually hard anodized. We've done this because it gives a different feel, different texture. And if you look in here, these are our latest window blocks. Same again, very discreet M but we've gone with a nice machine cutout. So Dave, I want to say my design engineer that has designed these for me and made a beautiful job. He has a very good attention to detail. And I said to Dave, I'm not quite happy with this adenizing. So do you know what he did? He took them all back and he did them all again because that's what I like. I like attention to detail. And what we were unhappy with, I'll show you this. So we had a tiny little glitch on one of them, but I think he's actually taking it back. And it was like, a, there you go. It was a tiny little defect, see that there? And it's like, a, I don't know, a micron that someone's missed. But he took them back and he redid all of them. So, but we've even taken the detail to look at this. These are our caliper brackets. Every single edge is beautifully machined. You can't even cut yourself on them. They even feel nice. And those you don't even see, they're hidden behind calipers. And for those of you who are running a motor liter steering wheel, we've got these. These are our steering wheel sensors. Same again. Very sleek, discreet branded. What's happening on Rodent? So as you can see, we got Rodent back from their nice, nice trip at doing the scram. And um, all we're doing really is giving it a good thorough check through, making sure everything's tight, nothing's loose, nothing's snapped. And yeah, just giving it a good proper, proper check over. And then uh, hopefully we'll be taking it back home with him. <laughs> So we got to Morocco the first day driving from uh, the first camp down to the port, the stereo blew up. <laughs> so we had no music, that was it. Nightmare. The head unit went, so we had no music. Can't be having any tunes. Well no, I had to listen to Dave talk for... <laughs> How's the upgrade? That's right, I Sounding good. The other three just weren't marine. And they've got little tweeters, so yeah, nice little upgrade sound system. You forget actually how much crap and how dirty this thing was. How can you forget? Well, I've still seen it there. For a I haven't seen it for a month. It's been here. Well, by the time we left it, I I've seen it for a month. I think they did clean it at one point as well when they got back. Well, so this is the no, not you're making really. It. What they <laughs> look at the fucking desert in here. It's not clean. Like and subscribe. So the Cummins 130 is going to leave us this week, and I don't know. I've really fallen in love with this build. Just look at it. It's just it looks built. It looks tough. And what I love is these Evo course wheels. And just look at the packing brakes behind it. It just screams, "I'm powerful." And I don't know, built for purpose, I want to say. Look in here. So, ignore the wooden steering wheel. That is not staying. It's, it's just our shock wheel. We use that for moving cars around because it's just comedy value far too big. Um, but we've got there. So we've gone with some nice excess stock seats, heated. We give Adam a nice bit of comfort. 
Um, you can see in there, that's the nice crinkle coated tunnel there. Cummins gear stick shifter, they have to be big, it's just part of the Cummins theme. We give them a nice reversing camera at the top there. And if you look up here, we've gone with a bit of nice Alcantar. Give them a bit of comfort in the old work vehicle. And here, check out how pimp this dash is. How cool is that? So we can keep an eye on all the important gauges, things like oil pressure, water temps, all the most important things. And what we love about these Dakotas, they've got so many different options and capabilities for extras, things like you can see if your spotlights are on, you can see what sensors, what diff temps, all sorts of things. It's like the options are endless with these kits. And as you see in there, we've got high low, we've got diff lock, all the usuals. And this week, we've given him some nice stainless steel custom uproar side rails. We love those. Scott makes a fantastic product. So for those of you that want side rails out the box, stainless steel, lovely satin finish or gloss, I believe he offers, hit up Scott at uproar. I still itch him to get him a discount code so I can give you lovely followers a discount, but I think he's been a bit tight and not giving me that discount code yet. And of course, we've got some lovely billet optimal goodies. We love optimal stuff. It's top notch quality, nice gloss mirror heads and the black and the white, it just screams. We've got a little part there, that's from the company called The Thatch Barn. And what we love about it is supporting all the little businesses out there that make nice products. And we will be making our own vent soon to complement the handles, the hinges and window blocks. So we don't believe in making a product that copies someone else's product, we believe making something different to the market, okay? That's what we're all about. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. So this is the ex-marines essentials for desert travel. Really. No, Dave's just a bit pressured when he wiped his little bottom in the desert. That was a, an eight pack and that's all we've got left. He, he goes through about a packet a day, half a pack a day of wet wipes. That's to keep fresh. What are we doing on rodent? We are currently working on a rodent. We are moving the seat to across to one side as the new speakers have been put in and the casing of the speaker again pushed in. So we're it, moving the seats across. Yeah, so the speakers they're they're a little bit fatter than the OEM ones. So we've just plugged up plugged up the old holes so it's still watertight. And uh, yeah, we're just having a fiddle around, see where's the best place to mount the mount the seat, drill some new holes. So what have you used to plug the holes up? So we've got just some silicon. Yeah, we've got some uh, plastic interior trim clips, which you can usually use in like the, things like headlining, things like that. So put a blob of silicon over the hole, press the plug in, and then just smooth the silicon out a little bit. And then obviously once it's set, it should be nice and watertight. No rotting. 
and subscribe. <laughs>these look like Range Rover Classic seats. Yes, uh, we finally got the, the Porsche terracotta leather in from Germany. So I'm just carrying on now with the with the, the rear seats. Now I've got the leather in. So I'm just doing the, the fluting for the tweed center panels. So the customer's gone for a tweed with the, uh, the red crossing in. Um, and then we've matched the, the, the twin needle design up with the uh, matching stitching so it all ties in hopefully um, yeah just putting the three inch three inch flutes in which is a bit of the, the time nice. so tell me about the process of is this a front seat or rear seat or this is the rear seat, so the backrest we've done there, the backrest ready with the arm resting. This is now the base to go with it. This is the last part of the seats then we need to do. Yes. So let's say, starting from scratch, we've just got the bottom part of the seat there. Where do you start? What's your process? Well, we'll start off, we'll take the, remove the old cover. So we've got the old cover here. So we'll, we'll mark it up, give ourselves some Mary marks for sewing up later. So it's all cut up and ready to go. And then we'll just transfer that, lay them down, just weight them down, use the weights, hold it down onto the leather, mark round, um, and then cut it out. Then we'll attach some scrim foam to the back to give it a bit of body. Uh, we've put... Uh, the five mil on the the fascias and three mil on the sides just so as it builds the foams back up slightly gives a bit more body to the foams um, cut those and then obviously stitch them all together and then we need the center panels which is like the final part really um, so I'll mark we're doing th I'm doing three inch flutes on these so you'll make a you'll mark out on the foam the three inch and on the material you'll mark like three and a half which gives you a sewing allowance for when you make the flutes up rather than doing straight through flutes we're doing folded flutes um, but yeah that's that's about it really and then attach it back onto the seat using the hog rings and the the other fastenings
like and subscribe. My name is Willie. So Project Murray Minter, so a very random name, Murray came up with this name himself and as you'll notice these wings in the last episode were black, like that. And when I was away in Morocco the lads got the wrong memo. So Murray, who sent the Raptor to us, which is our customer, sent us black. And I wanted black for things like the cubby box and the lower half of the dash because I don't like doing body colour inside the engine bays because I like it to show off all the bling that you see right there. And of course, the lads got carried away and they raptured everything. And Murray said, Dave, I didn't want the wings doing black, so we've done them white. So extra protection, they're never gonna corrode, that's for sure. So as you see there, nice new seat box that's gone in. This car is originally a 300 CDI, but we're gonna give it a twist. We're gonna give it a Puma bulkhead. So he's got the modern cons. He's gonna have a heater that actually works. He's gonna have um, gear shifters that actually feel nice and not like you're steering a soup pot. And this is the heart of this car. So this is our fully rebuilt system, rebuilt performance MT82, rebuilt 330D, started life as a 204 horsepower. It's gonna leave us probably packing about 350 with all the nice billet goodies and fully reworked engine if you like. So there you have it guys. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe and please share and help me grow this channel because we're trying to help people and we're trying to give you tips and hints and there's nothing more to say other than keep following guys and please subscribe. See you later. Good night. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Yep. Yeah.